Chad, I, when I was uh, using the barbecue pit yesterday, or barbecue grill, I should say, I, I found trace of, like, mouse poop, and I internal screamed so loud, I almost lost it. I mean, to be fair, it is outside, but is there, like, what, what should I do? I, I want to murder it. I feel like... What do you mean, do nothing? I think it made a house. Like, I think that's what- I think that's what it thinks the safe place is. I was thinking maybe I can, like, get the sticky trap. And then... If there wasn't a ton of shit, it's not where it's leave living. It wasn't tons. It maybe like I would say like five or six pallets. That's a job for Ruka. Yeah, but then like it pooped like five or six times. Or five or six pallets. That means like it lived there for some time. I'm, I'm, I, I hate mice. Um, when I was growing up, we had a mice problem in the house. And, like, I literally, if I could eliminate all the mice in the world, I would. If there's a button that I can press that will eliminate all the mice, I, I will press that without even, like, a hesitation. <laughs> R.I.P. Mickey. Good thing Mickey is not really a mouse, though. They poop like every 20 seconds. But then they would only poop if they eat something. That means they must ate, the, ate something. Oh, I was thinking about it. I couldn't even eat lunch yesterday. Because like, so that happened, right? And then um, when, I went out, when I went outside and then on the way back home, I literally saw on the walkway, right in the middle of a walkway, a dead mouse. Just like, bro, just like, untouched, dead mouse, right in the middle of the walkway. And I almost stepped, I was like, I was, I was like, oh, what, what a weird rock. Why is there a rock in the middle of the road? And I looked, it was a dead mouse. I, I wanted to cry. I wanted to like, oh, it was, it was the worst thing ever. And I was like, why is it there? Why is it there? Why? Did you give it a CPR? Did you not just hear how I hate mice? And I will kill it, I will terminate that shit? Did you light a little candle for a little mouse? I would rather burn that shit off. Someone must depress the kill mouse button. And then, like a week ago, when I was also using the barbecue grill, like, I was cooking, and then I saw a fucking mouse, like, scatter, scatter, and then it freaking, like, like, ran behind one of, like, the corner of our patio, and I legit froze, and then I called out Ryan, I was like, Ryan, Ryan, I cannot cook anymore, you have to cook. The mouse is behind that corner, it, like, it freaking, like, ran, and it went there. And I can't, I can't do it. So it means, it means that mouses keep coming back to my patio. So I feel like I have to... Would you rather have a mouse or a roach? Um, how about none? <laughs> how about I terminate both? Equally bad, I would say. And then when that happened... Luna was like, what's wrong, mommy? And I said, there's a mouse in the patio. Mommy cannot go outside. And now, every time she looks at the patio and she goes like, mommy, there's a mouse. And then Ryan's like, no, 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 don't say that to mommy. To, to mommy, mouse is, is not a cute thing. It's like, it's like uh, anxiety. It's like, it, like, literally she breaks down. Ryan's like, don't say that to mommy. But now, like, just literally, like, every day she looks out into the patio, she was like, Mommy, Mommy, I see mouse. And, and here I am, like, breaking down. <laughs> oh, 
I know it's like it's you know it's out in the patio. There's like obviously I can't really do much about it. I guess just because it's not like inside of the house. There's not much of like I could do, but I was thinking either like put the sticky trap around the barbecue grill so that if it does come back, it will just get onto the sticky trap. You know, that's what I'm thinking. But I was wondering maybe I should ask my chat and then maybe my chat will have a better answer. Because mice, they're so smart that when, when they see the sticky trap, they won't step on it. You know what I mean? They would they would walk around it or they will live around it, but they won't go on it. But then there's also like the poison pellets, right? Like that, that it smells like nice to mice. And then, but then if they eat it, like it's poisonous, so they die. But then I don't want to put there, I don't want to put that. And then, like, have, like, 500 dead mice <laughs> on our patio. It's probably illegal. It's not, it's not like a human could eat it. It's, like... But pets could? They can't, they can't come to our patio. It, uh, n not only they cannot come to our patio, I don't think they will go inside of our barbecue grill. <laughs> Unless someone has a pet mouse that is unleashed, then sure, I guess it will die. But like, even if a dog somehow gets into our patio, I don't think it will be able to open the door or be small enough to be inside of the barbecue grill i mean there there's no way luna would be able to eat that either just because like that means she has to take the barbecue grill cover off which is even difficult for myself and then open the door and then go like and look inside of the barbecue grill i guess time to get a third cat that's made to kill yeah but then it's like it's out in the patio, so we can't have a cat living out in the patio that would become a stray cat. With poison, they go and die somewhere else in your house, and they stink, and you can't find them. Well, it's out in the patio. If they die outside, they outside. They they die outside. But when I I tell you when we had the mice problem when I was growing up, um, after like it was so stupid. I hated it, and you can hear the mice at nighttime, like, like, <laughs> like, like, you can hear it, and I hated it, but my mom, I don't know why, she would not agree to kill them, and I was like, mom, like, just call the Terminator and just kill them, and then my mom's like, yeah, but they're living things, they're trying to survive, and then I was like, but, like, I don't want them to live in our house. They're dirty. Like, this is not sanitary. And then, I think we had to, like, I, I had to talk to her for two years. And then my mom finally decided to kill him. And I was like, thank God. And, um, so, like, what they did was, like, they put the, the poisonous pallets around. And like into like into like the very very corner, so like our family dog won't be able to get to it. And guess who found all the dead mice? I did. I found all the dead mice. I hated that I found all of them. I think I found like four. Um like they they're like they're supposed to be small because they're mouse. But because there was no, like, stress inside of our house, they grew so big, they, were, they become a rat almost. And one time, I just wanted to play PlayStation 2, and then next to it, I saw something. I'm like, oh, what the heck is that? It was a fucking mouse! Dead mouse! And I was like, it's a dead mouse! And then, um, I called mom. Mom called dad. Dad picked it up. He threw it away. And then... 
one time I was like in the kitchen and I, I heard something around where our dog dish was. And then I saw a mouse sipping water. And I was like, oh my gosh, what the fuck? The mouse is drinking my dog's water. And I freaking called mom. Mom called dad. Picked the mouse up, threw it. And then I wanted to turn on the uh, the fireplace. And then like to turn it, like you have to look under the fireplace. And there was a dead mice, two of them. And I was like, ah! And I was like, oh my god. Mom, I called mom, mom called dad, picked them up, threw away. But yeah, it, literally I found all the dead mice. Freaking, and then like we called like the, the guy who installed the poison. Apparently that's their job. Like they install the poison, but they don't collect the dead mice. That's our job. And I'm like, bro. Bro. Has PTSD with mice, but loves Disney and Mickey Mouse. Oh, come on, Mickey Mouse. He's barely a mouse. Do you think Mouse goes like, Hey, Minnie. How are you doing today? Uh-huh. Every mouse you kill that did that? Ah, oh, don't even. But then, you know, like, it's so funny. You don't even have to go that far. You don't even have to go to Mickey Mouse. You know what I like? I like Ratatouille. LOL. What is wrong with me? I don't know. I love Ratatouille. And Ratatouille is literally a rat. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? I don't know, man. Ratatouille is fine. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it to you. When it's a real fucking mice, I hate it from, like, every cell in my body. Even the poop of the mice, like, kills me. And then here I am watching Ratatouille, and I'm like, I like Ratatouille. <laughs> and then, like, I like the Ratatouille dolls. I don't have any Ratatouille dolls. But, like, I like it enough, but I'm not, not enough to buy it. You know what I mean? Like, I like it, but I don't love it. So I wouldn't buy it. But I'm like, Ratat I like Ratatouille. And do 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 I guess you will just have to teach the mice to cook or something. No, or they could just die. The movie made me want to be a better person. I the I love, I love Ratatouille. And I'm so pogged. Apparently in Disney World, the Ratatouille ride is amazing. I'm so pogged. I'm I'm ready to experience Ratatouille. But I mean, the... I like Ratatouille, but I think probably because it's a cartoon, you know? Not a real fucking rat. <laughs> If it's a real fucking rat, I'm not going back to that restaurant. <laughs> you know, in the movie, they're like, ah, there's a rat, rat, ah, and then like they lost all the customers. I would be that. I would never go back there. <laughs>